Vehicle electrification is going to be a revolution. I believe that pretty much all vehicles will be electrified in 20, 30 years. And we need to electrify cars, we need to electrify buses, we need to electrify trucks. These all have their challenges. It's not one size fits all. Here in Quebec, we have 97% of the energy is renewable. So it makes a lot of sense to electrify uh, the transportation sector. We got some funding from Automotive Partnership Canada, a program established by the federal government. We decided to structure the team in a certain way. Industry partners would collaborate and interact with different themes. The first theme is really about the motor design. Infolitica, our partner looking at the software for analysis and design of electric machines, is very interested in the type of results that we got to enhance their models. Infolitica benefits from this partnership by getting advanced material information and techniques on how to optimize electric machines in our software. And we provide the students of today engineering tools that would be beneficial for them tomorrow. TM4 is in the business of designing electric motors for electric vehicles, so they're very interested also in this type of work. We have the section on the drive, uh, which is the power electronics that takes the battery DC voltage and turns it into sinusoidal voltages and currents to drive the motors. The transmission for electric vehicle is led by Linamar, and Linamar is a company that makes drivetrain components for all the largest OEMs out there. For the optimization of the vehicles, simulation models, TM4 is interested in that and Linamar because they also have to do these kinds of analyses for their customers. Pure Later was a partner that joined us later. Some of the inventions that we had here have been submitted for patents and that drew the interest of industry. The goal of my research is to improve vehicle energy consumption, whether it's in hybrid vehicles or electric vehicles. I simulate the vehicles on a computer program and look at the component sizes and control strategies to see how we can improve the vehicle consumption over a specific drive cycle, which includes just a basic speed trace that's repeatable. This shows the vehicle simulation software running the power simulation for each of the components. My research ties in the other research from all the other teams by taking the component data details from each team and it goes all into the main simulator in order to get an energy consumption for the vehicle as a whole and hopefully improve the vehicle energy consumption. Our group works on robust design and optimization of electrical machines. We are combining FEA-based simulations with artificial intelligence, surrogate modeling, to solve many objective design problems of traction motors. This research can help Infolitica to create their motor design software with some of the new features, such as advanced modeling, efficiency calculation, and subcomponent level optimization. It may also help TM4 to develop their next generation traction motors. We're guided by uh, industrial partners through a regular meeting, um, presentations, also their, their feedbacks uh, are important and their technology transfer. Our lab works on the electric traction drive. It's the energy conversion process. We essentially convert the DC power into the required AC waveforms to feed the traction motor. The current challenge of the traction drive is really to improve the cost performance ratio of the inverter. And really what we look at is improving the efficiency of the inverter so that we reduce the heat dissipation of the silicon module and we're able to drive more current through the module, increasing the current throughput of the device. In our group, we focus on the development of hybrid optimal control theories for the design of controllers for the transmission of electric vehicles. We work with analytical models of the vehicle, of the transmission and the electric motor, and we apply the hybrid optimal control theories namely the hybrid minimum principle and hybrid dynamic programming, we use them to design controllers that control the transmissions to minimize the energy consumption and some other performance measures such as the shifting duration, making the link between theory and application. That was a, a once in a life opportunity that I got when I became involved in this project. 
We are conducting research on the design and control of the transmissions. The gear shifting dissipates a lot of energy, especially in automated manual transmissions, and it's mainly caused by friction. We are doing research on friction system modeling, control, and validation through hardware prototypes and also real-time closed-loop controllers. We are also working on design and control of electromagnetic actuators which can perform the gear shifting. We design a novel transmission for electric vehicles and specifically for medium duty truck and school buses. We call it dual brake transmission. It consists of two planetary gear sets with common sound and common ring gear and two brake mechanisms for gear shift purposes. The transmission is perpetually connected to the powertrain and there is no clutch or tone converter to disconnect this mechanical coupling. We came up with a novel gear shift technique wherein the traction electric motor is controlled together with the brakes in order to provide a smooth gear shifts while we minimizing the shifting time and dissipation energy during the gear shift. The benefits of uh, the dual brake transmission is compactness, high efficiency and the seamless gear shifts. Our mechanical design team is developing an innovative uh, powertrain for medium and heavy duty trucks which includes the camera roll differential and modular multi-speed transmission. Modularity allows obtaining a virtually unlimited number of speeds, which increase performance. Camera roll differential with load carrying capacity makes it possible to package it in a smaller volume, about 20-25% less than conventional differential. We also work on the gears with the optimum to fill its shapes, which also allow reducing packaging and increase load carrying capacity. The uniqueness of our team is that we offer many design projects to the undergraduate students. This approach allows the students to get acquainted with the new innovative technologies. For us, the benefit is to look at real-world problems. What are the problems, the issues that engineers are facing in industry and they would like to solve? For industry, working with us closely makes them explore certain things that they wouldn't do necessarily. Higher risk research. There's great interest in industry to find people that have this systems engineering background that understand not only a small part, but the whole drivetrain. So we're training engineers that are becoming the new leaders of electric vehicle design.